Hello everyone. Uh, today we are continuing on our journey with the Houstons through the year 1850. Uh, today's letter comes from Margaret and it is dated May 21st, 1850. And it was actually Margaret's second letter to Sam after having given birth to their fourth child. We're gonna put the letter in the description so you can read it in its entirety but I thought I would take this time to go over different parts of the letter so we can kind of better explain uh, what's going on. All right, so uh, Margaret had been having a difficult time with her fourth pregnancy. We know that based on letters that she has written uh, to Sam. And in this letter, she says, my health has been so feeble that I afford little nourishment to her and we are compelled to feed her on milk, the sugar teat I have discarded and yet she grows more rapidly than any infant I've ever seen. Sam has not yet complained to me yet, but to Kitty a few days ago said that he believed he was never to have a little brother, but he is so charmed with her that I think he has forgotten his disappointment and Nanny and Maggie are perfectly eloquent over her. A little later on, Margaret writes, Mr. Johnson, who is their current overseer, says that I must tell you that the corn is improving a lot, uh, but I do not think he knows much about it. Um, but, I will, but enough of this, I will console myself with the hope that after this year, I shall be done with these annoyances. Um, kind of using context clues uh, for details that are missing, but I think it has been discussed between Sam and Margaret that they're going to get rid of the farming aspect of the woodland home. Um, but that's just kind of what I've gathered uh, myself. Uh, she continues on with some strange things have happened since you left home. One of them is that Benjamin Wilson has take up, taken the cause of Gott and Virginia. Now, I don't know who Benjamin Wilson is, but I do know that Thomas Gott was a the former overseer of the Woodland Home property, and Virginia Thorne was a ward of Margaret's brothers, I believe, that she had taken custody of. Um, Gott and Virginia would eventually run away and elope and come back to bring charges of abuse against Margaret, um, which we will be going over more uh, in a later video. So be sure to check back with us about the whole Gott and Virginia um, incident. Once she kind of sums up what's going on with God in Virginia, she writes that Huntsville has lately been visited by another hurricane. I have not heard of any houses being blown down except two of Captain Sims' cabins, but the crops were much injured by trees and fences being blown down. The wind was very severe with us and I had serious apprehensions of the house going over. The storm passed through Brother Vernal's neighborhood and I'm told his crop is almost ruined. Um, we're kind of working our way into hurricane season right now, but in all likelihood, Margaret is probably uh, writing about a tornado. Um, as she had written in another letter, uh, she said, we've been visited by a hurricane, but the season was more, it fell more in tornado season and Margaret having been from Alabama would have been more familiar with, with hurricanes more so than tornadoes, but it's, it's probably a tornado she's talking about. Um, and then she kind of closes the letter talking about what's going on with the kids. Um, Nanny, their oldest daughter, had been suffering from a case of worms and writes that I have been giving Nanny a kind of vermifuge for worms and her cough is much better, but if it should return, I will try your remedy. Mother as well, um, and hope you are well, thy affectionate wife, M.L. Houston. And she includes a little P.S. Sister Catherine, it was expected, could be baptized last week. So there you have it, guys.